Howdy folks, um, I thought I'd do a very basic uh, sumo paint walkthrough. I've had several friends requesting different things. They didn't know how to do this or that or the other thing. And uh, so I thought I'd just do a real quick thing. Actually, it's probably going to be a long video because there's so much to this program, but it will help you understand how to do things. First thing, when you open up sumo paint, this is what you get. You get a blank sheet. I call it a piece of paper, but it's basically a layer. Um, there the first thing I work with is layers. Uh, if you come over here where my mouse is, this is your layers palette. You can either right click on that and duplicate the layer, which is nice because you can have another sheet of paper and you can do that as many times as you like. Or you can come down here and this will give you kind of an invisible layer. So basically the checkerboard there means invisible. So let's just say, we'll go back layer number one. We wanted to do a gradient. Come over here to the gradient fill. Now if you run your mouse over all these it will show you what you're doing or what tool you're using. It automatically defaults to this orange one but if you drop this down you've got all these different gradients and then you have adjustments here. So let's choose this because it's kind of like a sky. And then over here we have all these different ways to run these gradients. So let's choose a kind of funky one. So and right now it, it built it, you can see that here, but we've got to cover it up with this layer, so let's make this invisible. So there's kind of a cool piece of art just there, just doing that. So let's come up to layer number two, and this one we'll do another gradient. And we will choose, uh, let's start with a multicolored one, okay? And we'll choose a different shape, we'll use this. Kind of looks like a sun, doesn't it? So now, let's say somehow we want to incorporate these two layers. Over here is your blending options for the layer that we have selected, which is this one showing. Um, so you can see, if we choose some of them, it sort of blends the two together. Some of them won't show anything at all, but, but it allows you a way to kind of be creative. So now let's work on this upper, this, this empty layer that we've created. Let's do a brush. So here's your brush tool. And up here are all your different brushes. These are all very cool brushes. Photoshop doesn't have things like these. You have to go out and find them and install them into your Photoshop. If you drop this down, it even gives you more options, it's including animated brushes, um, text. I'm not sure what the meaning of steampunk brushes is, but they're cool. Let's choose 3D. Um, and let's choose a flower. Okay. We've got the flower chosen. Here is where you adjust your size. So you can go all the way up to, let's see, 512 pixels. Although I kind of remember that it only went up to 257 before, so maybe it's something me messing around. And let's choose a color that will show up on this black. We can either do white, or if we want to adjust that color, we can come over here and choose different colors from this color palette. So let's choose an orange. Make sure you click it until you see that your color has changed over here. And now if we do once, and remember we're working on the clear layer now. Once sort of does it a little bit. If we keep kind of pressing here, we'll sort of add to this and we'll get almost a 3D looking picture. What it's doing is it's laying the paint or ink or whatever you want to call it a little heavier in some places and lighter in others. Move our mouse off of that and we have something that looks like a flower. Now let's do another clear layer. Let's say we wanted to add something else to this. So we'll come over here, we'll choose a brush again. And look, they have some cool sort of grassy stuff. So let's choose this grass. And you can always see the outline of it here. And let's choose a green. Okay, let's say we want to kind of make this kind of, uh, oh, the, the base to this flower here. So let's kind of... build up a little bit. But it doesn't quite look right, does it? Because the uh, the flower should be on top, shouldn't it? So look, we can take our layer that we've just built here and move it down beneath the flower. So now the flower is on top. 
one of the things that kind of gets me is that it's sort of see-through and sometimes I don't I, I don't really understand how this program works but um, there are some things that I can't figure out yet and maybe Sumo Paint will explain it better or, or, or maybe they already do I'm just not a good reader so let's say we want to move this a little bit choose our move tool which is this little arrow right here and we can kind of move our move our grass around um, we can even if we right click do free transform we get a little box here and we can shrink it move it down here choose our flower let's choose move again move it here so and at any time if you kind of want to see what's going on you can kind of go well I'm, I'm not sure I like that layer so you can move that or turn that off with this little eyeball here so now we've learned our brushes our layers layers are probably the most important thing in working with things but um, I'm trying to think what else to show you let's say we wanted to do another layer we'll add another clear layer and there's also this tool here which is kind of like a circle tool and always again defaults to this one gradient here but um, we can kind of build a circle and see how I can kind of make it any shape that I want say we wanted to make sure we were building a perfect circle then hold shift key and move out and it will only allow you to make a perfect perfect circle so you can build that whatever size you want again take your move tool move it to where you like it so okay here we've learned another thing and so basically it just takes playing around with these things let's build a little star here too uh, we'll choose a different gradient for that um, what do we like um, oh, let's do wild pink or whatever okay and we'll build a little star and we're building this on the same layer that we just built our ball here so if we wanted to be able to move it independently we definitely want to have that on a different layer so keep that in mind but um, you can tell that I can adjust how this little shape is just by turning my, my mouse around so anyway that's kind of I think that's about all the tools I can cover in and be in a reasonable video time but that should get you going so layers very important your your brushes extremely important because they have such cool ones I mean literally look at uh, oh here let's choose a ghost and we'll make this white and we can always go to default settings here which is this little black and white thing and we can reverse these by doing that because this top one will always be um, what your brush color is and let's start a little ghost here and again we're building this on the same layers we did those other two things but um, we could have done it on a separate layer so there we go a little ghost um, so anyway brushes are extremely important playing with the layers and the blending modes um, remember adding clear layer this button right here or if we want to duplicate a layer just right click and choose duplicate layer we can also delete a layer if something gets in the way another thing people want to know is how do we get our own photos file open from my computer so if you choose that it automatically goes to well here I have it set on my desktop but you can get to your picture folder and here's a picture that I did this is all done within sumo that I did last night